What's going on, Virgo? Let's see who misses you. Who's missing my Virgos? A busy ass person. Someone that has a lot of stuff on their plates. Um, an emperor. An Aries is missing you. But they feel very busy to me, you guys. Like, they have a lot on their plate. Why are they missing Virgo? What do they want? This is a boss. Like, a real true boss. Like, they've been owning shit for 10 years or so. They miss you because they want to reunite with you, the son. They want to marry you. What else? This is definitely somebody you had a connection with in the past. You even have the Ace of Pentacles here. They feel like you guys have unfinished business. This person may have three daughters. No boys. Three daughters. They want to marry you. There's the Hierophant. There's the Judgment. And there's the Knight of Coins. <laughs> This person feels like if they dim their lights a little or come in as somebody that um, you didn't like in the beginning, like if they slow their business down a little bit, that you would give them a chance. But this is not them being authentic. That's why I laugh. I laugh at this because that's not going to go by with you. Virgos, you're way too smart for that. So it's like, I could be here for you. I could prioritize you. They're going to do that enough so that you can get a ring on your finger and you are signed, You have signed that commitment. See, that's a warning. Romantic feelings. So that you sign the paperwork and y'all are together. Travel between the lines and anxiety. This person feels like they have to be this way in order for you to say yes to them. So this tells me that, if, that when you guys were together before... They didn't prioritize you. They were very busy. So this is going to be someone that was extremely busy when the two of you were together. You know that you've always been the person that they wanted. I don't care who they went to. You were always it. You are the star here. You have this emperor coming off of their throne behaving like a knight. This person's a boss boss, like a fucking boss. Single, faded meeting, and home. Reconciliation. They want you home. And home is wherever the heck they are at. And I feel like they're not in your country. It's not in your country. Yeah, I don't feel like it is. Wedding, told you, ex-lover and friends. So you kept in contact with this person while you two were apart. Secret crush, yep, still one of you. And look, unfinished business, liquid courage. I feel like this person's going to... <sighs> yeah, they are. They're going to stoop down to night... of coins to show you that they could be reliable. Okay, clarify the knight of coins with this deck. But they're gonna put you first. Now, I'm not saying this person's going to disrespect you or, you know, um, lying to you is disrespecting you to me. But I don't feel like they intentionally have, like, wanna do you wrong. I feel like they just really want you and willing to do whatever it takes to do it, but not stay that way, not permanently stay that way. It's like they want you to fall for the okie doke, but you already know what it is. Like they cannot see. I told you they want you to see that they have changed their ways. Oh, I've lost this. I'm not doing this. That's bullshit. This person is in love with you. They're still a boss. They want you to accept their cup. There it is. I can't make this up. An ace of wands. They've been wanting you for the longest. Yeah, this to them, y'all was never over. I don't care who they dealt with besides you. 
Clarify that Six of Cups for me, please. They want you happy. They want to be happy too. Told ya. I knew that Hangman was going to come out. <laughs> You're still in love with them. You have a deep love for this person. I don't feel like you want them though because you know that they're not going to be home. That's what throws you off. They're always busy. They always have things to do. Burdens. A lot of stuff dealing with. They're dealing with. They would have to cut down their work to be with you. Mm -hmm. They feel like they can outsmart you with their love for you. And that's genuine love. They have genuine love for you. I'm not taking that away from them. I can't. That's genuine love for you. But where's the empress? Don't take this the wrong way, but as far as you having the financial finances that they have, that's a no. You don't have the finances that they have. Not that that matters, you know, but it doesn't matter to them anyways. Some people say it would say it matters to them, but that's what I'm getting. That love. Did you always know that they was going to come back for you? Did you know that? Because that's, that's true love. This is true love. I just don't like the game that they're, they're going to play to get you to come. Because they're not going to stay that way, you guys. But you know that. And that's what throws you off of them. Divine intervention, third party. Third party is their work, and that's what they're addicted to, mystery and family. That's what they want from you. Spiritual awakening, snake. Told you, grass is greener. Party, signs and synchronicities. I don't feel like this person changed their ways when it comes to, they could be addicted to something else instead of their work like uh drugs because i'm seeing the white stuff but other than that that's not for everybody virgo this is totally up to you and how you want to deal with this but you're going to hear from this person because they want to bring you back home with them here's your message i'll speak with you later message <laughs> 